So you're having some trouble with your EZ Flush sensor. Let's take a look at a few possible common causes and the corrective actions you can take to get your flush valve back in action. Problem 1. The valve will not operate at all. Press the manual override button. If nothing happens, but you hear the gears activate inside the valve body, you have a water supply issue. If you don't hear the gears activate, you'll need to change your batteries. But let's start with water supply fixes. First, make sure that your building's main water supply to the wall is turned on. Next, make sure that your control stop valve is open. Remove the stop valve cover with your Allen wrench. Using a flat blade screwdriver, open the valve by turning the screw counterclockwise. Press the manual override button to test flush the unit. If the unit does not flush, replace the batteries as follows. Remove the battery tray with the Allen wrench. Replace the four C batteries as seen here. Then reinstall the battery tray. The gears will activate as you're almost finished tightening the battery compartment. Test the sensor. If it still doesn't trigger a flush, let's try resetting the sensor activation distance as follows. First, remove the battery tray with your Allen wrench. Then, remove the Easy Flush sensor cover. Reinstall the battery tray to activate the unit. Remove the adjustment port cover and the sensor adjustment tool. Now, stand at the desired activation distance. Using the sensor adjustment tool, turn down the sensor all the way and then slowly back up until the yellow LED begins to flash. Ensure the sensor is not detecting a stall door or a wall by stepping out of the sensor path and making sure the sensor LED is not flashing. If it is, you'll need to shorten the activation distance. Once you're all set, remove the battery tray once again. Replace the sensor adjustment tool and the port cover. Reinstall the Easy Flush sensor cover and then reinstall the battery tray to activate the unit. After the 10-minute startup sequence, the yellow LED will flash only three times when a user is in view. Problem 2. Not enough or too much water to the fixture. First, let's check our control stop valve and make sure it's properly set. Remove the vandal-resistant stop valve cover. With a flat blade screwdriver, Adjust the screw on the control stop valve to achieve optimal water flow. Turn it clockwise to close the stop valve and counterclockwise to open it. Another item to check is the diaphragm or the piston of the flush valve that your Easy Flush sensor unit is installed on. Damaged, punctured, or obstructed diaphragms and pistons can produce these symptoms. Refer to the flush valve's specific troubleshooting guide for instructions on how to examine and clean the piston or the diaphragm. Problem 3. The valve does not shut off. The main cause of continuous flow is a dirty or obstructed diaphragm or piston. Consult the valve manufacturer's directions on how to disassemble and clean the diaphragm or the piston depending on your model. Problem 4. The red LED light flashes on the sensor. If a red LED light is flashing on your sensor, you need to replace the batteries. To replace the batteries in your Easy Flush sensor, Remove the battery tray with an Allen wrench. Then replace the 4C batteries as seen here. Then reinstall the battery tray. Well, that about does it. Thanks for troubleshooting with me today. If you encountered issues or need further assistance, feel free to reach out to Zern's expert team for support. And check out our huge library of other troubleshooting and installation videos on our YouTube channel.